Hi everyone, welcome back to Shiloh's Crib, it's Shiloh's mom. Today is not quite a review, it is my insight, my take on the Halo Dream Nest. My intention today was to review the item, however I ended up just breaking it completely down and replacing it with my Guava Family Travel Crib. Which is Here's our Halo Dream Nest. We have it set up in a corner, pulled away from the plug, of course. I use a generic cover for the mattress and I place something soft under it. It does defeat the purpose of having the mesh bottom because the mesh is breathe through. When Shiloh was younger, we didn't put any cover on the top. Halo Dream Nest, it do, they do have their own cover that's muslin. We also have those, but we rotate them out right now because Shiloh can use a regular mattress. He's 14 months right now. So that's what that looks like. buying one of these it's not easy to put together and take apart again it has a tension bar and the tension bar inserts into the frame and it's a lot of finagling to get this through and then the mattress is separate so it's three different pieces that you put together and you can tighten excuse me or loosen here so to loosen go this way and oh, it's I had super super tight, but um, let me try this. Okay, so you can loosen the tension bar. This is my second tension bar. I sent back the other one, and you can see how it collapses a little bit. It starts to get skinny there. And then to tighten the tension bar you go ahead and twist and you're supposed to twist and tighten until you see green and I've had to take it apart and put it back together a couple of times and once in a while it will work to where it shows green that it's completely tight and ready to go but most of the time you can see it just keeps twisting and twisting until the little hole disappears completely and there's no green. thing is is when you push it down you can feel the tension bar beneath and I know that my son feels it when he lies down on it there's you can feel like the actual tension bar right there right down the center which is why I use um, one of his blankets underneath to make it soft you can see all the water spots on it from him spilling his water and all of that in here so that's why I put a cover on it but let's see at the bottom you can see how it's just right there. The tension bar hangs on the bottom there. And there's wheels on the back if I want to lift up and pull to move it around. So I can lift it and move it. I don't really think the wheels are very good. All right, so you can see here when you collapse it, there's little stars on the sides and that shows you where Center. you need to collapse the two long sides, then the two short sides. Finally, there it is. Woohoo! <laughs> that took a long time. I had it open and closed it for a while and I was not going to disassemble it at all, but I'm just going to put this one away and bring out my guava family. Okay, and here is the mattress collapsed. Shiloh, come back, honey. There you go, and I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this one away. Yeah, honey? What is mama Okay, doing? there it is, all <laughs> tucked away. That is all lopsided, but it does come in the bag, and everything fits in it. The bassinet, the two little rocker bars, the toddler mattress stand on the bottom. There's like four legs that you can use to make a toddler mattress, but I just decided I'm gonna tuck this one away. The max capacity, I think, is 30 pounds. So Shiloh, he's not quite there, but he's there enough to where 
He can feel that tension bar on the bottom when he lies, no matter how tight the tension bar is. So this will be our replacement. <laughs> That's funny. Let's get set up, my guava family. All right, here I am sweating after breaking down the Halo Dream Nest. I do like the Halo Dream Nest for what it's intended to do. And that is to give you that peace of mind so your baby is not going to suffocate when he or she rolls on his or her belly in the middle of the night. The Halo Dream Nest, we liked it while we were able to use it and Shiloh was able to use it comfortably. I would never take that with me anywhere to travel. That is not a travel crib. Not a travel pack and play. No way. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. Hi, honey. Tell everyone hi. Say hi. Hi. You're too busy. You're too busy reading. Okay.